Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be hung on to a rock and have hundreds of scalloped hammerheads swimming over the top of me. And it was Shark Week that gave me that moment. In 2016, at Cocos Island, 30 meters down, 90 feet down, holding onto that rock, and literally hundreds of scalloped hammerheads swimming over the top of me. Unbelievable, one of the most magical moments of my life. If you want to see sharks, you go to French Polynesia. And so that's why I've been drawn to this adventure, is to, to get experiences with animals that also haven't had many encounters with humans before too. People have overpopulated the world. There's not many places that you can go to that it's not overrun with people. We know that tiger sharks are actually highly mobile, that they travel long distances. So trying to unravel, you know, why these females have selected this atoll, what makes it unique compared to the 117 other atolls that we have in French Polynesia. Tiger sharks are really one of the most successful big predators out there. You know, they grow pretty quickly. They reach maturity at a relatively young age in comparison to other species, you know, maybe six to eight years of age. They have lots of pups. I think of all the species that we've, that we've dived with, the one that's had the biggest impact on me is the silver tip. They just have an energy about them that I have never seen before in other sharks. And visually, they're just a completely like dark body with these really bright silver tips. They're very inquisitive, but they're extremely fast. And there's, yeah, I, I, I've just been drawn in by that species. I was a shark. There's too many sharks to want to be. I mean, I think I'd have to be one that was an apex predator. Needs to be one that travels a long way, so I get to see lots of different habitats. So I think it would have to be a great hammerhead. Plus, as a great hammerhead, you have almost 360 degrees vision, so those eyes are right on the outside of the head, and as they move their body, they can basically see below them, in front of them. They just have a little blind spot. That would be pretty cool. And then also those electric receptors on the front of the snout, being able to find stuff that no one else can see. I have been bitten by a shark. The shark was that big. <laughs> it was a baby lemon shark. When I used to run the Bimini Shark Lab, we would catch all these little babies and you would have to hold them when you were measuring them and tagging them. And I wasn't paying attention. It was very early on when I first started working with them and this little shark just nipped me on the top of my finger. But that is it. In almost 20 years of working with sharks, one little nip. Uh, favorite shark film has to be Jaws. I watched it when I was maybe seven, eight years of age. Obviously, I was terrified. But instead of harnessing that fear and being terrified of sharks the rest of my life, I used it in a way to, I wanted to learn more about them. And of course, Hooper, the scientist on there, I thought he was the coolest dude in the, on the planet. And I, yeah, and for me, Jaws had a very positive impact on me.